Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Do you have any idea what might be the number one gear related question that I get when I upload a video? Especially a video where I shoot one of my Leica cameras? You can probably already guess by the title of the video. Well, it is really surprising that people are very interested to find out what camera straps I'm using. But before I give you more details on that, let's talk a little bit about why this might be the case. Now, you bought a brand new camera, you unbox it and the first thing after putting in the battery is you attach the camera strap that came in the box, right? Some of you might now think, why the heck would I do that? Those straps suck big time. I'm not gonna lie, but I agree 100%. I don't know why, but for most camera manufacturers, straps seem to be an afterthought and they don't put any effort into designing one that works well and at the same time looks good. Maybe they assume that a lot of people won't care anyway and are probably going to attach some aftermarket strap. And if you buy an old film camera, it is very likely that it doesn't even come with a strap at all and you have to get one or reuse an existing one. If you do so, it's a great opportunity to customize your camera and set yourself apart from other photographers, right? The market for that must be quite big, otherwise there wouldn't be so many companies out there offering such a huge variety to choose from. Some have straps that are designed to make it more comfy to carry around your camera and if you, for instance, are shooting events for a living, then those would be the number one choice. However, as street photographers, do we really care about that? Probably not that much. For me, it's more important that the camera strap looks nice. Probably some of you are also guilty of thinking like me. Let me know uh, in the poll up there if that's the case. Before I show you some of my camera straps, a quick reminder that you can now pre-order my brand new x -Penzine until June 28th. And if you do so, you can uh, save up to 50% on shipping. And shipping would start in the first week of July. And if you're interested, the link will be in the description box below this video. Now, I only use neck straps because carrying my camera around my neck allows me to react faster compared to using a wrist strap. It might just be half a second, but that can be crucial for capturing a moment or missing it. This year was the first strap that I bought mainly based on looks. I think that was roughly six or seven years ago. It's made by a company called Barton 1972 from Hong Kong. And up to this day, I'm still like the design a lot. And I even bought a second one just two years later. However, I stopped using them, even though they are very comfy because they are flexing a little bit. The problem is when you carry your camera around with these here and the camera has some weight, uh, the problem is that the strap will stretch and then the camera is bouncing around and that got a little annoying, I have to say. And on top of that, listen to this. Just imagine that you're having a camera that is almost silent and then in a quiet environment when you're taking a shot with your camera, your strap is giving it away. No, not great. Five years ago I also got this one here. It's a very basic leather strap by a company called Tire Up. It served me very well and over the years got some really nice patina. By the way, the company is now called Rock and Roll, but more on that a little bit later. The next strap I want to show you is this one here. It's made by a company called Artisan and Artist and it's made out of, of Japanese silk. It's ridiculously expensive, but I got mine for almost 50% off, but I would say it's still not worth the money. When it was brand new, it looked great, but after a while it got really fuzzy. It doesn't look nice anymore and when you bring the camera up to your face, it tickles on your nose, especially on a camera where the viewfinder is off center like on the Leica Q. I used a lighter to clean up the strap, but after some time it became fuzzy again. And on top of that, it got really filthy when I used it during summer with all the sweat and the sunscreen. With that experience in mind, I much rather wanted to get a basic strap when I picked up a Leica M6. And I got this one here, it's uh, from a company 
called Artimano and it's I bought it when I was in Korea. It's a Korean brand, but as far as I know, you can also get them in Leica stores around the world. The Leica store in Miami, for instance, has them too, I think. I had this one custom made with orange stitching and it has been attached to my Silver M6 since three years and it was a great buy. Some of you might know that I also have a black M6 and for that one I wanted a red strap. Don't ask me why, but I thought it might look really cool. So since I've had a great experience with a strap from the company Tire Up and I knew that they also offer leather strips in red, I went to their website just to find out that they changed their name to Rock and Roll and I ordered a red strap and also a black one just as a backup. They are very simple and after using the red one for almost a year, it got really soft and I prefer those over the more fancy ones. Now when I'm traveling I usually bring multiple cameras and it gets easier to pack my bag if not all of them have a strap attached and sometimes it can be better to not even have a strap attached at all. For that I picked up this um, peak design strap and it's very easy to attach and detach and yeah I'm using it for instance on my X-Pan and also on the FM2 and also of course on the camera that is filming me right now. Alright, for all of you out there that wanted to know, those are my main camera straps and that I'm using right now. So, but make no mistake, those are by far not the only ones that I have, but these are the ones that I use mainly. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to pre-order the zine if you're interested and I hope to see you again tomorrow in the next video. Until then. Auf Wiedersehen.